It's a great privilege and responsibility to sit on this bench with these extraordinary justices. I look forward to working with each of them as we work together to develop the law and to serve the state of Washington. I'm very honored to take the seat of Chief Justice Mary Fairhurst, though I know I will never replace her. I am very saddened by her retirement and deeply hopeful that my appointment can honor her incredible contributions to our state. I was raised to remember that I come from those who survived. My ancestors on both sides of my family survived genocide, survived institutional boarding schools, survived attempts to eradicate their culture. And yet, as my father reminded me often, we survived, and I am here because of their resilience, their courage, their intelligence, and their deep commitment to what is just. For me, justice is not an abstract concept. Justice is a term of action. And I believe as judges and justices, we are called to do justice, to find the best possible answers to questions before us, and consider how those answers apply to the people whose lives are impacted by the decisions we will make on the Supreme Court. As a trial judge, I strove for the best answers to some of the hardest questions. And I did so attempting to balance the requirements of the law with the real lives of the people who came to the courts seeking resolution. I'm honored to bring that perspective to the Supreme Court, as well as the stories that helped me to formulate it. I want to thank the tribal and state court trial judges with whom I have worked over the years, all of whom strive to do their best work every day. Without their commitment to collegiality, I would have been lost. I also want to thank my family, my husband Colin, my sister Ruthie, and my children, all of whom supported this dream and believed in my ability to achieve it. I want to thank all the tribes, including my own, but whom, with whom I have worked over the years, who welcome me with open arms, great love, and lessons of a lifetime. And I want to thank the community of Whatcom County, which has supported me as a judge, as a community member, and as a mother and partner raising a young family in a small and welcoming community. And of course, all my friends, who have been part of my success every step of the way, and shown me where the light is in, terms of dark, in times of darkness. So today is a day of light. To be the first Native Supreme Court Justice for the state of Washington, and only the second Native Supreme Court Justice in any state in the history of our nation, brings with it great pressure and great honor. I look forward to serving every citizen of the state of Washington, and in so doing, do justice. Thank you. After a great start.